Good morning. Okay, so this quick little post is just to walk you through the process of grounding and shielding your energy. So it's nothing too intense. It's not going to take a long time. It is just a very simple process. And the reason that I do this is just to call my team in, just to prepare myself for my day so that I can be the best me I can possibly be. So the first thing that you're going to do is just sit and kind of take in a few deep breaths. These are pranic breaths. So you're going to take the breath in through your nose and you're going to let your belly expand and you're going to fill the air up to your throat. Just let it... Now, once you get it to this point, I want you to hold. So you're going to inhale through your nose to the count of five. You're going to hold that inhale to the count of five. <clears throat> And then you're going to expel through your mouth. And when you push that air out, you're going to push your belly button into your spine. And you're going to push all air out to the count of five. And then you're going to hold that exhale for five. So how many times can you say five? All right. This is deep breathing. We humans are pretty shallow breathers as a rule of thumb. So this clears everything out. And what you can start to do as you're doing this breathing process is when you're breathing in, you're just going to imagine positivity coming in and surrounding your entire being. Just let, let it come in, positive, 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 uplifting, and it's pushing out all of the negative. On those exhales, when you push the air out, imagine negativity and all that no longer serves just leaving your body. Push it out. All right, so that process, I want you to do that for several minutes. And then you're just going to imagine this light coming from the universe, from God. You call it whatever it is you want, um, source, divine. And it's going to enter into the top of your head. This is your crown chakra. It's going to enter there. And then you're going to allow this light to just fill you up, coming down from your third eye, down into your throat, heart, solar plexus, sacral root, all the way down into Mother Earth. And you're just going to let that light linger there into Mother Earth for a little bit. You can feel some tingling in your toes. And then you're going to draw light up. So she's you're connected to Source above, and you're connected to Mother Earth below. You're in direct connection. So your spine is straight, and you're just allowing this light to run through you, to pulse through you. And then just feel that. Feel that peace and just that that being, just being. So at this time, you can just go back to normal breathing as well, just normal calm. No need for the huge deep inhalations, just calm breathing, All right? And then you're going to imagine the light from the center of your chest, your heart chakra, and you're going to imagine this light expanding, just taking out throughout your entire body so it's filling you completely completely filling you and it's going out this is your protective space this is your safe space nothing can penetrate that light okay so I like to start my day by doing this just to know that I am safe and protected and I can go about my day now another thing that I like to do is just call in the light to me and through me create a sacred ball Okay, this is basically a chi ball, and I'm labeling that universe. Now, I got this tip from Christine Marie Sheldon on YouTube. Highly recommend you find that. It's a fabulous video. Um, and then you're going to, so you're going to create your day. You're going to feel that energy. Now, when you do this, you can actually feel it. And it's almost like polarity. It's almost like two um, magnets pushing together and, you know, how it kind of pushes your hands apart. I know. I know. I'm crazy. So you're labeling this your day, your life. I label it my day, my life. So I'm putting stuff in there that I want to continue throughout my day, but also throughout my entire life. I always want people to know their love. So I'm adding that in here. So anybody who thinks of me receives love and light and knows that they are protected and blessed at all times. I also add into my life that anybody who sends me it, that energy gets transmuted quickly, efficiently, effectively, and it is gone. It is not mine. I'm not owning anybody else's ick. That gets released immediately. And I send those people love as well. We don't need more ick in the world. We don't. There's plenty. 
And if you don't believe me, just look around. So I do not share that at all. I transmute it. I push, I push it down. I was going to say push back, but I'm not pushing that back because they've already got enough ick. That's why they're sending it. We want to transmute that shit. Okay. So I put that kind of stuff into my energy. High vibratory things are what you want to put in here. Love, happiness, light. If you have babies, you can do this for your babies. Um, I do this for my adult daughter and my granddaughter. Um, she's not an adult, but I do this for her as well. I do this for my husband. I add him to my day. Any of those relationships that you're working on, you can put those in this day. I am adding, you know, all of my clients. If I have a, well, I do have a plethora of clients. So I put them in here. That sounded really egotistic. I did not mean it that way at all. All I meant is I do have clients and I do add them to my day. So each and every person I connect with, I add you and I say a little prayer for you. And I ask Archangel Michael to cover, to cover and protect us. So I, I actually say, Archangel Michael, please place your guardian angels in my corners, north, south, east, and west. So when I'm adding all of this stuff to my day, and you can add... If you need your phone ringing off the hook with people calling you to offer you jobs, put that in your energy. If you need um, contracts to be signed, if you need extra energy for something, if you need energy to, to work through all of your clients or to finish projects, whatever that is for you, put it in. You're imagining it and you're imagining it happening. So this that's the power of this little ball that we're creating, okay? And then you're going to say, I bless you with pure love and light. I bless you with pure source energy. So I also add, I bless myself with pure love and light. I bless myself with purified source energy. Then I add, I bless my day with pure love and light. I bless my day with purified source energy. And I feel that in my heart center. And I say it several times. I bless myself with pure love and light. I bless myself with purified source energy. And then I just take this little ball and I place it right into my heart center. And then I literally imagine it going out and changing my day and arranging my day and getting everything into place. Everything that I need and that I want is going out and taking, it's transpiring on my behalf because I have taken the time to set my intention and to create it. I do realize this can sound a little crazy. I do. Um, when I first started doing it, I thought so too. And then I had a phone call because I had put phone ringing off the hook because that was one of the suggestions Christy Marie Sheldon had. So I was like, I'm going to do that. So I did. And within a few days, my husband's aunt called me and offered me a job. Now, it wasn't the, the kind of call that I wanted so I um, or the kind of job offer that I wanted. So I learned to get more specific about what it is I want. But I thought that was fabulous. It was a wonderful like, oh, did, oh it happened. <laughs> I have known her for over 28 years, 29, going on 29 years we've been married. Anyway, so I've known her for a long time, and she's never, ever, ever called and offered me a job before. And I did not tell anybody that I was doing that. So, so there's that. <laughs> Which is why I'm always telling people, you have to do this. You have to do this, and you have to trust in the process. Remember, the blessing part is going to be super important, too. So always add those blessings. And... Also, as you're driving down the road, if you see somebody who you feel may need some assistance, I bless you with pure love and light. Again, from your heart, I bless you. Blessing somebody raises your vibration, so why would we not want to do that? And why wouldn't we want to put that good energy out into the world? So um, I challenge each one of you who are watching this video today to bless somebody, to bless yourself, and to bless someone else. Okay, have a wonderful day.